Sometimes, there are vehicles or even, whole brands you just, want to like. Whether it's heritage or philosophy, or some other intangible quality, they just seem cool, and you want them to be good. It's that much more, disappointing when they're not. The new Jeep Compass is, one of those vehicles. With its baby grand, Cherokee good looks, trail rated badge, and monumental leap forward from the old model, you can't help but want the, new Compass to be good. We know Jeep is serious, about off-roading, so immediately we want, to get this thing dirty. We want to drive it hard because, we know it ought to be, tougher than anything else, in the segment. We admire Jeep's commitment, to capability and its heritage the Compass is good in some ways. With up to 23 MPG city and 32 MPG highway, its fuel economy is near the top of the class. It looks great. You can get it, with a manual transmission. There's a massive sunroof, an excellent you connect infotainment system, and a powerful Beats audio system. Even the basic all-wheel drive system, does off-roading better than, anything in its class. At $22,000 to start, it's a solid value for the money. For all the things it does well, though, the compass is let down, by some key failings. Chief among them, is the powertrain. The compass, when equipped with all, we all drive and the 9-speed, automatic transmission like, our two testers, is intensely slow. Like, can't catch a Prius slow. Your only engine option is the, Tiger Shark 2.4 liter 4 cylinder, and although it's 180 horsepower and 175 lbft, ought to be competitive, the Compass 3600 plus pound curb weight isn't. The top spec limited 4x4 needed a belabored, 10.5 seconds to reach 6.